Jimmy Bullard is one of the most highly regarded English footballers of the last few years. During a playing career which saw him taking Wigan Athletic, Fulham and Hull City, he carved out a reputation as a highly skillful yet tenacious midfielder. But recently he's been forced to give up the game he loves at the age of 33 because of a serious knee injury and he's been forced to think, what next? And that's where we come in, because Jimmy Bullard is now attempting to make it as a professional golfer. I've got no chance here, no. <laughs> Dewey, thanks very much for joining us on Golfing World. Um, you retired from football at the age yep. of 33 last October. How hard was it to step away from the professional game? Fairly tough, tougher than I thought actually. Um, it was a quite a quick decision. Um, I got injured, I was playing for MK Dons and I got injured and um, I just had enough on that medical bed. When I hit 27 I had a few injuries come my way and I just couldn't get over the first one really. Um, it just went from bad to worse. and. I woke up one Monday and I just um, found out I had enough. I phoned um, Cole Robinson up and um, decided that was it. Now I worked before football but always wanted to be a professional football player so always had something to focus on come, come a weekend. Um, had a lot of direction in my life, a lot of people to look up to and all of a sudden it all vanishes and that is one thing I didn't expect. When did you make the decision that it might, golf actually might be something worth focusing on more than just to, for a bit of fun? Yeah, I've, I finished in October, I think it was, um, and then I had a couple of months off, enjoyed myself, went away um, a few times, and then come back and um, started to play some golf, started to play some medals here at the Wisley, and um, started to put a pencil in me, hand, really. To be fair, a lot of the boys up here playing the Euro Pro Tour, Danny Way and Adam G, a lot of Challenge Tour players. Played with them a few times, and um, I thought I'd like to mix it with them one day, um, properly. And so just, when you were just, playing them, were you, were you kind of holding your own? Yeah, there were some days when I'd hold my own. You know, you could see there's that elite above, but you know, there was, I felt I had what it took to compete. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't have wasted my time. So I just looked, looked into becoming um, a pro, really. Looked into playing golf um, on a Euro Pro Tour, the lowest tour available for, for me. I qualified first stage when I met you, down at um, Stoke by Nailing, and then um, second stage was at Frilford Heath. And um, I thought I missed a cut by two, which I did, but that doesn't necessarily mean you don't get some sort of card. So um, I was on the way home from that, I was kicking myself, but um, the next day I'll get a phone call from Nick at the Euro Pro Tour, and he said to me, no, 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 you've got a category there where you're going to get a few starts. So for me, I was buzzing, and for me now, that's sort of my life. So. Um, Looking forward to it. So let's talk a little bit more about the Euro Pro then. You decided yeah. that you could actually give it a go. Um, were you doing it just for fun? Or were you, uh, were you doing it and are you doing it as a serious career? There's a combination of things. One, to help my life in general and to get me something to focus on, to get me out of a boredom sort of role and something to focus on away from football because I love sport. Two, to um, see if I can develop as a golfer and free whereabouts I can go professionally or what I can do, I'd love to compete. Yeah, I'm, do, I'm taking it seriously, I'm up here every day, I'm taking it um, as serious as it can be taken. Um, I don't want to be as any mug out there and just to have my money over and not think that I can get a slice of the action back. I'm going out there to um, earn some money hopefully one day and play this golf um, for a living, hopefully one day. Well let's talk about Q School then because I, I saw mm. you playing there a few weeks ago and you really held your own, in fact you did really well and you came through Q School with flying colours, didn't you, in the first stage, and I mean, what was it like lining up in terms of being back in that professional environment? When I turned up at Thrill for Leaf, it really hit me. They had the big leaderboard. And, um, but you're used, you to play, the, you're used to playing I'm in front not, of 40,000 people. I, I, I remember, I picked the club up, I've got to be honest, I couldn't, it was just so heavy. It was just, oh no, and I'm, it's amazing how many things your mind can think in such quick time, you know, and it was just like, it just felt terrible. And I didn't know whether I was going to get it through my legs or wherever the ball was going to go. But I pured it straight out of the screw, straight down the middle. Once I start getting used to playing on that level, I start becoming used to it and start 
swinging as I want to swing, a lot freer and play a lot freer. But um, I was guarding so much in that first couple of tournaments, it was untrue. Like two putts in every green with me, I was walking off an happy man, which ain't like me, you know, I want to see every putt drop in. We see if it gets a bit better. But I've got to say, I, can, I feel better in myself. That, my next tournament is Wenson Valley, and I know I can feel I'm not going to be half as nervous at Wenson Valley, even on the first tee, as I was at Stoke by Nayland. Well, let's talk about that because that is the first regular season Euro Pro Tour yeah. event, isn't it? I mean, it's yeah. a big well, event for, it. for all the players, and it's, it's yeah. coming up, isn't it, in the next few days? I mean, how yeah. do you feel about it? I just want to play really well, you know? I just want to prove to people that I can play, play the game at a decent level, and prove to myself that I can hold my own. Um, my aim is to make the cut and see what I can do from there. But I'm just buzzing for the, um, just to be ran, ran golf at a professional level for me is something, um, I can't believe I'm there really. And I, I lo I love, I'm loving it and I can't wait to get there. There's a lot of people watching this and they've followed your football career, they've enjoyed watching your exploits over the years and they're really interested in seeing how you get on as a professional golfer. But I think a lot of people will wonder, how much is it just a hobby for you? and how much do you really want it? How hungry are you for success in golf? I'm not entering a Euro Pro Tour to just waste my time. I'm looking to um, advance, I'm looking to progress as a golfer and just see where that gets me. Um, I'd love to win an event one day, so that's as serious as I can be. Um, and to be fair, I've always taken sport, like even when I was a professional football player, I never took it too serious anyway. Even when I look back, I knew it was my profession. As I say, golf now, yeah, if you're asking me, am I taking it as a profession? Yeah, I definitely am. I think I can mix it in the Europro at the minute. Let's just say a championship club comes along and offers you an assistant manager position or something like that. As serious as you are about golf, yeah. would you take it? It's, yeah, it is a difficult question, actually, because um, I've always known football. One day I'd love to manage. I've always said that I would love to manage. I'm taking my badges now. But... Um, I suppose I'd have to see if that turned up and where my head was at with my golf. But at the minute, no, I'm um, bang on my golf. So if, if a club was to come in, I'd have to say, I want to give my golf a bash. But come back in a couple of years, see what I've got. <laughs> if you were to make it through the Euro Pro, mm. through the Challenge Tour and get onto the European Tour, where would that oh. rank in your list of achievements? I'd be higher than anything. There's one thing I can take out of football and bring into my golf, and that's belief. If I didn't believe in myself, in football, as much as I did, I wouldn't achieve after things. So, belief in golf and belief in any sport or anything you do in life is the biggest key. Coming up, we walk the course with Jimmy to see just how good his game actually is. This game is all about being honest with yourself, but it did just creep over, I wouldn't... <laughs> Lovely. Yep. Great effort. There you go, birdie on the first.